that her sorrow echoed through space and time. So our saga begins tonight, yet eons ago, just here, yet light years away. Okay, hello everybody, I'm Concrete History Games, and welcome to another stream here today. This is sort of what I'm doing, uh, uh, because, uh, we were having a lot of trouble with the Ancestors Humankind Odyssey one. Uh, I'm gonna maybe turn this down a little bit on the, uh, on the properties of the audio side. Hold on a second. Okay, well the first thing I need you guys to tell me is, uh, very rapidly... Um, if the, uh, if the game audio is too loud in, in comparison to, uh, me speaking, I'm kind of adjusting it actively right now, but, uh, <clears throat> let me get a sip here. So, this is a game that I've played on the channel before. It's called Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's a pretty short game, like, we should finish this in an hour unless I just totally suck. Um, and it's basically a, a kind of... I don't know, I guess you could technically say it's a rhythm game, but there's elements of a lot of different types of games in it, like asteroids, um, racing games, uh, obviously rhythm. Uh, there's just a lot of different things going on. Oh gosh, what's happening? Not long ago, in a town okay, it's just, it's just playing the intro again. That's Queen Latifah doing the intro, by the way. Um... Yeah, so it's better now, like, where I have it with the level I've got it at now. Okay, that's great. And, like, the menu music's a little bit louder than the games is, too. But, um, this is essentially a game where you are playing a character who goes into a fantasy world, and you're gonna save them. I'll kind of explain it once we go ahead and get started, but this is a really comfy game. Um, I play it at least once every couple of months. I really, really enjoy it. I've had it for about a year now, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I am a fan. So, oh, do I already have scores on here? That's weird. Hold on, what? If I've already played it on this account... Oh, we've got the album arcade version available. Okay, I thought I didn't have that unlocked here. Um, you know what, it's fine, it's fine. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, I usually like to play on arcade mode when I'm playing on my own. But we're gonna we're gonna play it level by level out here, just um, just for the uh, purposes of you know, because I know there's some people who that it's gonna be the first time they've seen this. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the Claire de Lune and uh, go from there. Doesn't look like too many people from the other the stream showed up though. Intersected the astral highways, and along with her star-crossed allies, they stole all harmony and hid it in the vile hearts. Hmm. Before the divine trio started to, so this is just saying the plot. They created heroin in the shards of a broken heart, and hoped that she would one day be strong enough to save their world. Yeah, we definitely need some recuperation after that last game. Also, I don't want to get into the personal details of it, but something kind of rough happened to me today, so, you know, I think I need a little video game hug from this game. Chicken soup for the soul, that's what the friend who introduced me to this game calls this. Calls a sign of uh, uh, Wild Hearts. Ooh! So, alright, we're already in the game. So the concept is pretty simple. You know, I just use the joystick to move around, and I want to grab these hearts. Um, 
There's also special items, so like, you know, for example, you can go through those hearts that, like, you know, the, these bigger ones there, you get, like, a bonus 50 points whenever you do that. Well, actually, it's plus 25 every time you do it. So here's how the scoring system works in this game. It is better to get through the level and not die compared to, say, if you died a couple of times but you still got every heart. Now, the reason for that is that the way the points work with the miniature hearts that make up most of the game um, is they it stacks up and actually you're kind of seeing it the same way with these bigger hearts too um, I'm just here I'm speaking over like the Boosies uh, you know Claire de Lune uh, but so you'll notice as I, like I'm hitting it it'll say like you know right there 100 and it says like I got 111 points and 112 points and 113 points and 114 points after each successive one that I grab so it stacks up, uh, so you know, you're slightly more than doubling however many points you got from the previous heart. So it pays to continuously get more and more hearts. And we only got the silver rank. I'm gonna try to get gold on one or two things, obviously I'm gonna try to do the best that I can, but um, I'm, I'm, this is just a chillax stream. Throw it at the feet. So there we go, we did Claire de Lune. Next up it's time for heartbreak. So, oh shit, I'm getting my buttons mixed up. So. Yeah, so that was uh, that was us. We we um, we we began in the real world, and now we have uh, transformed because we got those shards there. Um, so, has anybody not seen this game before? And needs me to explain like the symbolism of what's going on? Please let me know as as soon as possible. Um, what I will say about this game, obviously it has a very strong aesthetic, big time synthwave vibes, that's for sure. I know that's been big for like the last decade. Um, but what I will say about this game is it is a game that the pieces of it, there's not a whole lot of originality. Which sounds like like I'm scorning it, right? But, but this is definitely a game that is so much greater than the sum of its parts. Uh, incredibly so. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm seeing some people are saying they don't know what's going on. Okay, so the concept is, like, are, do you know what tarot cards are? Like, honestly, I don't know a ton about tarot cards myself, but it's fine. But the concept is, is that there is a world, there is a universe where the characters and tarot cards exist. And so some of the bad tarot cards got together and they destroyed the leader, like, the gods of the tarot card universe. I guess I'll go ahead and explain this before we keep playing. Um, so, so then the the before before they died, they sent shards of energy through an interdimensional portal to us. That's us. This is the character we're playing, this woman. And that's when she got on her skateboard, you know, with her short hair, and she chased after the uh, the butterfly. And when she got it, it transformed her into the character that we are now with the mask, which is the fool from the tarot card. So, we're trying to pick up the shards of hearts to um, restore the divine power within the tarot card universe. And along the way, we have to fight different bosses. So, the first one we're going to fight is the devil. And the devil's minions. I keep, I keep getting the B and the A mixed up. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Um, that, so, that's pretty much it. You can kind of think of it like Sonic, where you collect rings. And they were like the hearts at the end. You can think of them like stars in Mario games, things like that. Um, but it's a really, really excellent game, in my opinion. It's a heck of a show. It's a feast for... Okay, Hate Hell Valley. That's where we are. What a name. It's a feast for the eyes and the ears. The album is in my top 500 albums of all time. Pretty safely in there, too. You know, it's, it's like got the pop influence, but with some nice twists. I'm a fan. Here we go. Yeah, just look at this. So now we're just on our motorcycle, which is the wheel, the ter the wheel from the tarot card. I really should learn more of the details about how the tarot, like the tarot card stuff, works and the symbolism of it, um, considering how much I play this game. Uh, ooh. And here we go. But yeah, you know, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to kind of concentrate a little bit. But please, anybody with questions, please, you know, submit them in the chat, and I will do my best to respond. Oh damn it! It's 
hard to get that diamond over there. Ooh. It's like a mix of Tron, Sonic, and Guitar Hero. I guess so, and you know what? I've, I've played this game on the channel a few times already, and every time I do, people notice different influences. Dang, if I had gotten that diamond, I would have hit the 25,000, which is what I think I needed for gold rank. Let me check. No, I need 30,000 for gold rank. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Now, this is a fun one. I like this fight. This is, this is where rhythm actually starts to come into play. Do, 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 do. These are like the Grease girls. The pink ladies. Dang it, missed. Alright. Mortal Kombat! Damn. Hey. 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 No, I'm not gonna get gold. But it's fine. We're doing this. Is we're, we're relaxing. Well, here's where it gets intense. You know what? We're actually gonna restart this level real quick. Um. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Stretch my neck. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, I wanted to get that out of my system before I kept doing it. Oh, and also, I have myself a beer here. Which, you know, obviously is going to lower my coordination. So that shows how I'm not going to be too serious on this. But Okay. ASMR. Okay. Here we go. Doing some pouring. This is a beer I've never had before, actually. It's called Kindling. It's from uh, Odell Brewery. Odell, they're an extremely solid brewery. I don't think I've ever had a beer of theirs I didn't like says give make every sip count giving back has always been a part of who we are kindling is brewed to support nonprofits who ignite conversations build communities and amplify voices powered by our commitment to donate one percent of our revenue together we'll use beer to spark change see i don't even know what that means um I, there's probably details on the websites but it's a golden ale which is like a belgian influence style but it's like a light version of it so I think there's only, there's only like four point something percent. It's five percent on the nose. So like that's the same percentage as I think like Budweiser. It's not like a heavy beer, um, but it's fine. It should taste delicious, and that's what I care about. Let's give it a sniff here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's definitely Belgian influence. It's got that kind of bananiness in there very excellent okay let's play the game now shall we so not this level but the one after i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get a gold on uh because it's my favorite level but this one's pretty damn good too damn. gotta be it's tight it's a tight window Hey! Shit. I missed my shot already, I think. Yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the gold. Whatever. As long as I get it on the next one. If I don't get it on the next one, I'll be upset. The next one, next one level is my favorite song, probably. Or it's pretty damn close. Yeah. Hey, we've doubled our viewer count. Nice, nice. Okay, here we go. Begin again. What? Bronze? That's not right. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm playing this on a different account. Okay. Right. It's because I have more than one account on my Switch. Uh, because it's like, I know I've gotten gold on this. Begin again. 
I might, I might kind of be singing along on this one. I'll try not to do it, but it helps. Yeah, we're going for the gold here, baby. There we go. Oh, shoot. Come on. Okay, don't go for that diamond. That, that diamond's a trap. That's for when you're going for, like, the record. But if you're not, you can get gold without it. How it goes, you leave me sad and scarred. Broken glass, broken ash, I guess that's what we are. We have tried to forget the pain and regret since the last time. Okay, so the pace I'm going for is after the second woman, I need to be at like three, 30,000. Uh, 30, My rhythm is off. And it's a rhythm game. Begin again. Whoa, that was a little close. Get it. Got a risky bonus there. Awesome. There's another trap here coming up. Okay. Got past the trap. Feeling good. They missed that heart, though. Oh, shit! Got the risky. Yeah, okay, we're on a good pace. We're on a good pace. Sad and scar. Broken glass, smoke and ash. I guess that's what we are. I have tried to focus. Raymond for 60,000. Excellent pace. Okay. Oh, I keep getting just good though on this rhythm section. The last time tonight, hold me so close. In the arms I just know. It's the last time. And I'm straight <coughs> alive. I need more hearts, where are they? There it is. Little hearts. Yes. 50,000, we're going for 60! We're going for 60! Got it. Come on, 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 come Begin again. 66,000. That's gold and 10% plus on top. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Are these songs original for the game or they are a remix of old songs? They're 100% original. The only non-original song is the uh, the Claire de Lune at the, uh, in the first level. That's it. And even then, it's like a slight remix. Because I think it's supposed to... Okay, so so we've beaten the devil. Now we're going after the moon. Because apparently the moon is evil, I guess? 
I'm not so sure how many how uh, Hollow Life Muna's fans would feel about that. Uh, excuse me. Um, but uh, was it? Yeah, yeah. So, so I think that the Claire de Lune kind of sort of remix thing is supposed to represent, you know, the the transition as we go into the other world. That's why it gets like remixed and a little distorted. Oh shit. Oh shit. Got the diamond! That's how, yeah. So we do, oh shit. Yeah, some, some of the, these transition sections, I'm not as good at. But I, like, I don't die on them. I'm not actually sure you can die in these areas, but uh, yeah, all right. Still got the silver rank. So we do what Gru failed to do. Who's Gru? We're, we're gonna be like Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z. We're gonna destroy the moon! Now we're in the Woe Woe Woods. So this is a section of the game that I struggle on. I would definitely say the hardest parts of the game for me is whenever um, you gotta like you gotta squeeze between a tight area. And, uh... Oh, wait, is it not here? No, no, actually, it's the next level. But, oh, this is a little hard, too, because this is basically, you know, it's like the moon, the race on the moon of Endor from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Alright. Oh! I have mounted the mighty spirit of the forest! See, Princess, the movie Princess Mononoke would have gone very different if it went this way. Oh, from Despicable Me? Jesus, I haven't seen that movie since... Oh, God, I don't even remember when... Dang it, that, yeah, it's like, that's tough because you got time to jump with the, with the heart. Yeah, that bit at the end. Not my best, not my best efforts. Okay. All right, we're going D-pad for this. There we go, the wolves. The howling wolves. So yeah, we're done with the forest ghosts. Now we do forest dub. Get another sip real quick. Mushrooms. Oh! That's, that, that, was that the first death of the run? Oh, no. You gotta commit. You gotta commit to the jump. You can't decide you want to change it halfway through because there's a little more heart on the other side. What? I didn't switch what I was doing there. What the fuck? There it is. There it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, right. The mushrooms are supposed to make me bigger. Dang it. I could have been, like, huge. Okay. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Bronze rank! Well, I did die a couple of times, actually. The Howling Moons, that's it. All right, here we go. Wait, laser love time? Yeah, laser love. So, here's for those of you who like the violence on this channel. Now we get guns. Let's go. We use judgment and justice as guns! <laughs> here we go, here we go. Yeah, what, what do y'all think of the game so far? Jacob. Oh, missed that diamond. Yeah, cause those diamonds are worth a flat thousand. I think there's like three every level. Oh, 
Yeah, turn, getting, to, getting to be a bit of a rave here in the forest. Oh shoot, come on now, come on now. 39, that's gotta be at least silver rank, yeah. Silver rank, you just gotta, you know, usually you get silver rank if you don't die and you actually are trying to grab stuff, but gold, gold is where you really gotta know your shit. Okay, yeah. Here it goes. See, this is where I have a little trouble. I just noticed that diamond up there. I wonder how I'm supposed to get it. Oh! My sights, I have you now. Oh! Dang, I was not gonna get that diamond. I had to know the diamond was coming if I was gonna get that shit. All the dirty gone staring with empty eyes, looking right through me. Shit. Artillery! Oh shit, I was trying to get the risky points there. Well now I'm definitely not gonna get what I want. Yeah, you see you could cha you could chain 50s on this. Oh shit. Yeah, cause because when you when you almost get hit, when you dodge like a wall or something. You get 50 points, so you can kind of like spat. You, you, you can like chain together some quick 50s if you dodge time dodging that correctly. Bridge is collapsing. Oh. get out of this alive. Perfect! Here we go. The core is exposed! So, yeah, now we get all the pieces of heart back. There we go. Bronze rank. You know what? I deserve it. I died only like six times there. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Okay. Next chap. I keep mixing up the damn A and B buttons. Let's go. Heartbreak 3. So I think this is the Gemini twin. So we've beaten the devil. We're going to the. We now we're at the Tower of Lovers. Um. Oh, cool. We got eight viewers. Nice, nice. Happy to see you all here. Nothing like a tower. From Zelda to Nier Automata. They turned into diamonds. Were they even alive to begin with? I don't know. You know, they could have been manifestations created. Or, like, maybe we just... Maybe... Or maybe it was they were alive. But then once we killed them, all that was left was the, uh... The heart energy that they had stolen. They had absorbed into themselves. 
Damn, the timing's fucking off. Ah. There we go. There we go. Getting in the groove. Oh. Hey, I, I just uh, I'm not on the rhythm today. Usually the rhythm parts are where I do well. Tap. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say from Zelda games to near automata or automata, I should say. Automata. Well, good nothing like a good old tower. Right, there's gonna be a diamond, I think, on the right. Yep, there it is. Boom! That's how you do it, baby! Did that get me gold? No, I, I screwed up the rhythm sections. If I hadn't screwed that up, that would have been a gold rank for sure. Hmm. Hello, 10 Bravefication. Good to see you. You missed the money game? What money game? What do you mean, the monkey game? Oh uh, yeah, basically I got the whole clan killed and 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 I was gonna restart, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some time on my own time, really like looking up some videos and maybe doing like a little dry run on my own just to kind of better understand the fundamentals of the game because I was not doing well at all, and uh, because I had planned on streaming for like three hours, but it had only been about an hour twenty, I decided to stream something else, something a little more comfy though. Nice, nice. We're doing good. Get that diamond. Get that diamond. Woo! All right. Oh man. Oh, not quite there. Not quite there. Gotta be ready for it. I think I'm a pinch short on the gold. I think I needed ten thousand for the gold. All right, we get a sword. Oh shit. God, I'm blowing it on these rhythm sections. Mother Nature is not as merciful as hip merciful hippies pretend it is. Yeah. Oh, I needed 15,000 for the gold. Damn. All right, well, this is a fun little rhythm one. Here we go, the twins. Here we go. Stop. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. And then to the left, swerve. Oh, couldn't quite get the diamond. Stop. Gotta keep the beat. It's the key to this. Gonna get the gold. But I missed the diamond. Go a little faster now. Go a little faster now. But it's just a bluff. Not actually that fast. Keep it up. Keep it up, yes. Bob and weave, baby, bob and weave. Ha! We have their powers now. Oh, got it! Oh, I think I needed 25,000. This is that first stream I remember they were at it. Yeah, I needed 25,000 to get the gold. I was a little short if I would gotten that diamond. Yeah, diamond hands, baby. Hmm. All right, so this is a super fun one. This is the this is the level they show on all the trailers for this game. I have laid my eyes on you. Seems so perfectly 
Alright, yep, you know, jumping around on a motorcycle, sword fighting through a city. Good shit. Get the diamond! Oh, that, that, goodbye gold. <laughs> I'll explain the plot again after this tender, after this level. Alright. I just thought we're hitting the bridge of the song while we're using this as bridges. Alright. It's a jet! They turned their swords into a jet! Well, I can do that too. <laughs> and let a chime It's so perfectly With all the golden things of mine Here we go! Okay, I got I got into that rhythm there. If I hadn't died, I might have been able to do something nice there. Okay, so Temporary Vacation was asking what's the plot, and I know there was other people too. So, so baby, there's a Shiro joke in here, uh, like from Fate. Um, okay, so basically, um, the the concept of the game is that there's a tarot card based universe. I don't know a ton about tarot cards, admittedly. Uh, but, but like, it's a tarot card based universe and then all the evil tarot cards got together and they, um, they destroyed like the goddesses of the world of tarot and then they, um, uh, and, uh, the, 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 with the last bit of their energy, they sent a message into our, our universe where it was picked up by the protagonist, this girl and it looked like a little like gem diamond so she starts running after it and she grabs the diamond butterfly thing uh gem it's like a i meant to say a, a gem butterfly and so she grabs it and it turns her into uh this character now with the mask which is based on the fool from the tarot card and she gets teleported into the world of the tarot and so she is now defeating all the evil tarot cards using the good tarot cards and like the weapons so like she used the tarot card for wheel to turn into a motorcycle and then she put guns on the motorcycle earlier which was the cards justice and judgment and so she's collecting the in like the form of the like the goodness in this world is the hearts so she's collecting hearts but there's also like i think a lot of symbolism here that like this is these are clearly like representing previous relationships that she's been in and things like that um so anyway let's uh, yeah so 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 it's basically we've got we're in another world we're defeating the bad people Wait, what? Oh, shoot, I, I accidentally reset the level. Oh, whatever, we'll just do it again. I like it. And now some of you know the plot better. Yeah, so these are like, this is like the Gemini twins. You'll be mine and mine alone. I'm getting a little better with the rhythm. But it just it comes in so fucking fast this is a nice version of the maze room from demon slayer well it's bigger it's a lot bigger than one room but i get what you're saying spins through the, the, the these hearts. You, you gotta get your style points in while you're fighting with these enormous swords and stuff. And you know death is coming for you. Bam! 
Yes! Glitters! So let us shine Feel so perfectly With all the golden things of mine But yeah, there's some sort of Unlimited Blade Works joke in here somewhere. Hey, more viewers! How is everybody doing? Okay, so we're done with them. On to the next chapter. Heartbreak number four. So I think this is the Hermit. Which, uh, I know the Hermit because, um, Jimmy Page used that as the basis for his character in the Led Zeppelin concert, The Song Remains the Same. Where he climbs up a mountain to see the hermit, and then it turns out he's also the hermit, so he's he's himself and the hermit at the same time. Come on, damn! This part, yeah, these these parts really get like I don't, I don't I'm not even sure it's possible to die in some of these sections here, but they're just such a fucking bitch. Oh, wait, the diamond's gonna be on the other side, isn't it? Oh, teleport, teleport, got the diamond. But I think we missed too many of the earlier hearts, we're not gonna get gold. Oh, how are you supposed to get up there for some of that shit? I really wonder. Yeah, we missed way too many of the hearts. My biometrics are probably well enough. Now to wait a few more weeks for my work authorization to be sent to me. Well, it's good to hear that stuff's going well for you. Okay, so this Night Drift level... Here's a fun thing about this Night Drift level. I'm going to try to do it real quick here. But, um... There's a... You can get, like, a miniature achievement within the game if you get through the Desert of Doubts, which is this level, without scoring a uh, single point. If you score a single point, you lost your chance to do it. And it's actually really hard. Because you get points for drifting. Um, so, yeah, the chariot becomes a sweet car. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, so we're gonna. Oh, well, I already fucked it up. Restart. So, so like, that means you have to kind of be curving in the opposite direction when, you, uh, when you're taking turns here. So, this is actually really, really fucking hard. Oh! Oh, there we go. It's already screwed. You know, fuck it. Yeah, cause it's like actually really hard to do. So let's just let's just drive normally, cruising through the desert. Woo! Oh, let's go get that diamond. Yeah! Now this is a chariot. Got my radio on. Woo! Get that diamond. Drift! Drift! It looks like LA Noir all over again, except here nobody gives me shit. No bills to pay. Nothing coming out of my paycheck. Not hitting any pedestrians and street lights. There we go. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, there we go. Drift, 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 drift. I drift, 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 drift. Oh, I had to be on the left to get that last diamond. I feel like this game would hurt my eyes if I played in the dark. Yeah, it's pretty synthy. Although, it doesn't ever get too, too bright, I think. So you might be okay. I don't know. But, you know, take care of your eyes, everybody. I'm actually waiting for some new glasses I ordered to come in. I only get like, glasses like once a year. I really like this song, but unfortunately I tend to die during my favorite parts of it. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not this song, it's the next song. But... Alright, here we go. So, I forget what game this is based on, but, like, you guys see that, right? Like, this is based on a different game, I just don't remember its name right now. Get that. Oh, what? How did I miss that shit? Come on. Come on, come on. 
Okay, you gotta time these things correctly. Boom, baby. The Star Fox from the egg. Yeah, that was it. Star Fox. Thank you very much. So yeah, this is, this is a little bit of a different level. You know, it's not as hectic. Yeah, here's the Tetris pieces. Oh! Oh, damn it. I missed my shot to get that one up there. Long piece! Oh, damn, should have got the damn diamond. Down, yeah, oh, they're coming in thick and fast. Wasn't there that phone game where you run across train trails to gather coins? Train trails? Like Frogger? Get it! Oh, I, th I think I got it. Whoa. Tetris pieces coming thick and fast! There we go. There we go. We're alright. We're doing alright, doing alright. Oh, no, we're not doing alright. Got that shit. There we go. There we go. This definitely is in the corner. Yeah, that's what I got mixed up with. Alright! Now, this is the song I was saying, The World We Knew. This is a song I really like, but I tend to kind of screw it up. Um, it just, yeah. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Da -da. All right. So I hope I don't screw this up, because like I said, I always feel like when the song is peaking, I, I like die. Yeah, obviously there's some snake references here. Killed by that. Yeah. Yep, it's snake time, baby. All right, once it starts shooting up, that's when that's the warning. Yep, space invaders right here. Or Galica, excuse me. Oh shit! Say, begin again. They say, begin again. They They say, begin again. They say, begin again.
All right. Oh, I missed the diamond. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, I'm definitely not getting the gold now. Oh, come on. You know what? Let's see. Can I get it here? Snag the diamond. Died twice. Don't matter. I got the diamond. Fuck. Wait. Ooh. Got it. Fuck, I'm good. All right, I'm getting too greedy for some of these hearts. Just let it boom. Go up. Boom. Go up. No. Nope. Oh, fuck me. No! No, I will not skip it. I understand why they put that in the game, but I will not be skipping it. It's fine. Oh, fuck me. They go all the way to the top, huh? What? I didn't even... Oh, oh yeah, that was awesome. The game could offer the lesson difficulty. What? Well, that's sort of what it's doing when it's saying, like, I'll just let you skip. I'm having the options there. Good for people who, you know, those people who are not as prideful for me. Me and my, my, my totally ridiculous pride. But, uh, it's just like, it ain't, it ain't me. It ain't me. Oh, shoot. Dang, this part's a little tricky. Yeah, you gotta kind of like pause for a second so that they aim towards a section. Damn. This is a little tricky. Yeah, so you gotta like pause for them to zero in on a somewhere else, and then once they're zeroed in, that's when you move. Whoa! Oh, damn. I gotta like zigzag that. No, thank you. I will not skip it. Devil May Cry, where they offer to reduce the difficulty. Yeah. Fuck me. I gotta like zigzag through the uh through the rockets or something. There it is! No, I gotta I gotta slice. Slice. Okay here. Oh that poked me! That didn't really count. You see, yeah, when they just poke me and they come out, like, I don't even have time to figure out trajectories because then just the tip of it touches me and then bye-bye Conquer and History Games. Yeah, here's the part. Zigzag it. Damn, how am I supposed to go through there? I've played this game a lot of times, but I always forget this section. Okay, here. There it is, then jump, okay, yeah, I get it. I gotta go from like the four o'clock position to noon, basically. Okay, yeah, so like right here, up and through, damn. Why am I not able to remember how I did this part before? I've done this, I've played this game plenty of times before. Grr. God, how did I do this before? I'm so confused right now. There we go. I gotta lead him lower and then... Uh, no, it's because the center section... What is going on here? I've, I've never struggled this much on this section. Let me get a sip of beer.
Okay, let me try something else. Leading them up here. Lead them way up north, you know. Wait, no, no, because then he just it reactionarily bounces back. Reactionarily? Is that a, that's not a word. Fuck. Okay, I think that was a little closer to what I need to be doing. Whoop. Hmm. No, no, no. See, now I'm confused. What the fuck? Like I said, I've, I've played this game plenty of times. I never remember getting stuck on here for so long. What am I am? And it's it's and it's on like you know she's in the chorus you know just the world we knew what? the world we knew Whoa! hmm the world we knew. I think I just have to weave through the, 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 so I basically have to go into a circle of it at the end there, and then come out the other side. What am I, damn, that's so weird. Dang, I'm getting worse. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Maybe I should use the D-pad. I'm going to try the D-pad instead of the joystick. All right, D-pad time now. Okay, shoot. Shoot. And then jump, 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 jump. Okay, yeah, so I have to, I have to scoop under it after the second. So shoot up here. Shoot up there. Then down and around. Shoot there. Shoot there. And then it comes out. Oh, no. I don't... Damn. Okay, let's just say fuck it to the hearts. How do you even get through this? I, I'm genuinely confused right now. Oh, that almost did it. Okay, okay. Okay. All that alcohol is messing with my hand and eye coordination. It's like a 5% beer and I'm not even done with it. It's not like I downed a bottle of wine and then played this game. God, I, I like, I don't fucking get it. Like why, why is this so hard? This has never happened before that I get stuck so hard on this part specifically. That's it! That's it, baby! Woo! You just gotta go! You just gotta grab your nuts and do it! Nice. Yeah! Woo-hoo! Alright, five more to go. Chapter five time. Mm. Here we go, the star. Ooh, pretty. Turned it into our little galleon. Our little, our little, our little float. Okay, now guys, remember we can't hit the lava. Um. Get that, get that, get that. Oh, shit. Yeah, these these like basically chapter prologue sections, they they they're I don't think it's as possible to die on them, but they're tricky. Okay, watch those world rolls. That's it. Oh, are you serious? They calculated that, you know they did. They knew what it was, bitch. Oh, waterfall. Uh, 
Where's the reverse gear? Ah, uh, yo! Oh, that, 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 yeah, she is crushed. Land on the upper part of your back, hunched over like that, you're just fucking dead. Plain and simple. Welcome to Love Dead City. Ooh, that's some thunder. Now, is this the one with the bats? Oh, intensity! It's okay, Caesar, you're fine. Come on. Alright. Here's Mr. Page Boy haircut himself. Death. Guys, Ghost of the Shell looks really weird. I don't know about the remake. Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. It just puts you right in there for the pain. Right here. And then come left, look left. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There. Damn, I'm missing so many hearts. Just the old little electric to little scap. All right, here we go. Looks like they gave Crobat a mega evolution, or I don't know. Next up. Hate skulls. Yeah, I've actually got gold on this before. Even though it's kind of late in the game, it's a harder part. All right, which which card am I activating? Temperance. And temperance is a bow, apparently, with a couple of hearts in it. Yeah, you just gotta keep keep moving, keep moving. Build those combos, always be shooting the skulls. There we go, shot the diamond. We missed the first diamond already, but... That's it. Damn, missed that rhythm. Alright, keep it coming. I really gotta be checking that. I think it was 40,000 is what we gotta hit. We're getting pretty close to that. Shit, that's it. It's gone. Chance is gone. You can't die and get gold unless you, like, you die right at the finish line when you already had gold. But otherwise, it's basically impossible. Yep, 35,000. I definitely could have gotten to 40 if, uh, if I hadn't died like that. All right inside time to fight the boss himself Ready 
for it. Yes! Got that diamond. He's using the sun! So the, both the sun and moon are evil. We now know this. Sorry if I'm getting quiet, I'm really concentrating. Inside. Oh, shoot, I thought that was gonna be another rhythm dodge. Fuck. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a few months since I last played this. Whoop. Missed that heart. God, I missed one there too. Oh, I gotta swerve up and then back down. Okay. Or I gotta like commit to the turn. There you go. Ooh. Oh, shit! The sun! Come on, come on, come on. That's it. That's it. Doing better, doing better. Not perfect, but better. Left, right. There's the rhythm dodge I was looking for earlier. There it is. See, this ain't like our partner in LA Noir. This guy's got a jawline, actually. You know, he just go down in one punch. Fuck, missed another diamond. There it is. Let's begin again. Oh, the the gross one when he when he just starts puking uh, everywhere when we're riding his puke. Not over yet though. Oh fuck! Yeah, this, this is so rapid fire. Here we go. Here we go. Eyeballs been exposed. Yeah, it, yes. In Terret Universe, projectile vomit project you across city. All right, final level. Now, there's a section in this level that I really struggle with. I kind of alluded to it earlier when we were talking about like the elk. But when they start, when he starts materializing the cards and shooting them at me, and you have to like go through the gaps, I really have trouble. Whew. Yeah, this section. This is the hardest part for me of the whole game right here. Okay. Fuck, yeah, yeah, th 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 this throwing of the cards at me. I just can't deal with it. I get stuck here forever. That dodge might have been the key. Okay, worst is over. Oh, shit. And then he died. Famous last words and all that, right? Woo! Oh, yeah, no, he's also shooting the lasers at me. The laser. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Getting that rhythm. Nope. Gone. Rhythm gone. Ah. Shit. I don't let him shoot at all. Riskies, ah. Sorry, I'm getting so quiet. I'm just trying to really concentrate on this section. Ah! Hurry, got me. Stay here, stay here, ride it out. Fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, you, you got like a fraction of a second. At that time, even though I knew it was coming, I couldn't dodge it in time. This is it! Ha ha! Perfect. Oh, and there you go, the fool powers went away from me. And now it morphed with the fool powers, I guess. So now I'm facing myself having taken on those other, the evil Terret personas. Leads to black. So I'm on the right. Who are we fooling? Wild hearts never die. Wild hearts never die. Yep, using the, the skateboard as a weapon. Fates to black. Imagine to miss all the bigger hearts. Whew. And then she becomes a dragon. Because, you know, every fantasy story needs a dragon. Yeah, I agree, State of Fear. I think the I think it's great here at the end. Back to Claire de Lune.
got it. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got silver at least. In a town much like yours. And that's it? And that is Sayonara Wild Hearts. Always one I like uh, to play. You know, when a game's only an hour, but you enjoy it a lot. I, you know, that's like the definition of replayability. And I think I think I needed that after uh, the frustration of what was going on in Ancestors and some other stuff too. But uh, we'll go ahead, I think, and um, uh, we'll stop it. Um, what is it, Caesar? Oh yeah, I know he probably wants me to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's just wanting attention. Yeah, I'm petting him now. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me tomorrow. Uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to do some Ancestors tomorrow. I think I need to take a day or two to, to work on it on my own uh, to get better. But thanks for those of you who did join for this stream. Y'all have a... Uh... Oh. What the heck? Oh, shoot. I got the B and the A buttons mixed up. <laughs> my bad. Again. Kept doing that today. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and you'll have yourselves a nice Friday night. Good night. <laughs>